Hi all, welcome again to Win Win Chess for Kids. This time we shall see the history of the freedom fighter Birza Munda. Birza Munda was an Indian tribal freedom fighter of early 19th century. Tribal leader and folk hero belonging to Munda tribe of Chota Nagpur Plateau area. Birza Munda was born on November 15, 1875 to Suguna Munda and Karmi Hatu in Uli Hatu. It is located in Bengal. Birza Munda is from a poor family. Birza had us lower primary schooling at a German mission school at Bujji. No sooner had he completed upper primary stage he got associated with the Sardar movement. The Santals are the Munda ethnic group native to India. The Santals are very peace loving and unpretentious tribals. However, in Birza Munda early childhood, British has looted them of everything they possessed, felled their trees, took away their lands, minerals and made a mockery of their age-old rituals and customs. But even now, in spite of all riches, the region continues to be one of the poorest and economically underdeveloped region. Till 1895, Birza was a religious reformer and an agitator of the riots, forest and other rights. But eventually, he aimed at the political emancipation of Munda area as well. That is why he recruited volunteers to fight against British government. Even though the first phase of his movement was not that very serious, he suffered rigorous imprisonment for two years in the Azari Bagh jail. On his release, he organized several meetings, declaring that Munda should put an end to the British kingdom. The slogan threatening the British is still remembered. The slogan was, Abhuwa Raj Seta Jana, Maharani Raj Tune Jana, which means, let the kingdom of the queen be ended and our kingdom will be established. In the late 1890s, Birza Munda abolished the feudal system. introduced by the britishers in the adivasi forest under this system migrants from other states were invited by the british to walk over the tribal lands and to pocket all the profits this in turn deprived the owners of their proprietary rights over the land and were left with no means of livelihood thus due to agrarian breakdown and culture change birza along with the tribe revolted The followers of the Birza Munda started a series of attacks on several places loyal to British. During the revolt of 1899 to 1900, Birza emerged as the supreme leader of Mundas. The British in turn set a award of rupees 500 on Birza Munda and sent an army of 150 people to crush the rebellion. Birza managed to escape but was later on arrested and sent to jail. During his trial in the prison, Birza Munda died on June 9, 1900. The movement faded out after his death. Eight years after his death in 1908, the colonial government introduced the Chota Nagpur Tenancy Act (CNT). This act prohibited the transfer of tribal lands to non-tribals and protected the proprietary rights of the owner.